in this video, we will learn about the symptoms and diseases that can lead to diabetes. First let's learn about type 1 diabetes. The main cause of type 1 diabetes is immune cells that attack the body itself. So far, no complete research has come out about the risks involved in having type 1 diabetes. Among the so far proven risk factors included family history. If any of your parents, brothers or sisters have type 1 diabetes, then the risk of developing increases. You can have type 1 diabetes at any age. But it mostly happens to children, teenagers and middle-aged people. Now we will mention about the dangers of type 2 diabetes. There are some signs that if you ignore them, you may be at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Such as pre-diabetes symptoms, weight gain, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, smoking, over 45 years of age, family history of diabetes and physical exertion. Includes less than 3 days in a week. If you don't drink alcohol but your liver is fatty, you may still be at risk of type 2 diabetes. If you do not have diabetes, but you are concerned that you are suffering from a disease like diabetes, that is, you are suffering from symptoms that occur before diabetes. Such as weight gain, being over 45 years of age, someone in the family suffering from diabetes and lack of physical activity can cause you to suffer from diabetes. If you don't have diabetes and you don't drink alcohol, but your liver is fatty, you may still be at risk of type 2 diabetes. If you are a pregnant woman, you may be at risk of developing diabetes. For example, if you had high blood sugar during your last pregnancy, giving birth to a baby weighing more than 9 pounds, being overweight, being over 45 years old, having a family history of diabetes, and having PCOS. Gestational diabetes usually goes away after childbirth, but there is also a risk of developing type 2 diabetes. If the weight of the child you have given birth to is high during childhood or adolescence, then the risk of diabetes increases.